name's Frank Rivero. I'm with Pacific Interment Service, and uh, welcome back to the Mortuary Channel. I know it's been a while since um, I did my last video, and it had a bigger response than I ever thought it would. But um, we're back, and today I am going to be walking you folks through the process of repairing a machine. This is also going to give you some idea of um, how the machine is structured and how it operates. But right now you're looking into the retort and there's the ceiling. That hole in the ceiling is the cremation burner. That hole in the back is where the afterburner comes through. And that big hole in the floor doesn't belong there. And what happened was half of the floor, or about a third of it actually, has uh, collapsed. And that's not unusual, and normally what I would do is just break out the rest of it. And there's a wall that goes right there in the center. If you look between those two chambers, there should be a wall running from back there all the way to about a foot before the front where I'm standing and that wall separates the gases as they're flowing through the um, through the machine so it also heats this floor the hearth there uh, with the gases coming in underneath so I'm going to explain a little bit of that to you but I'm also going to explain my uh, my reasoning here because it doesn't make any sense not to just put a new floor in this if that's a regular wear item something that has to be done and something that generally people pay a lot of money um, to do um, but I am going to be tearing this whole machine apart probably in the next four or five months and re-breaking all new ceiling all the the refractory in here will be replaced and it just makes no sense to uh, use 60 bags of very expensive castable material to um, redo this floor and then tear it right back out in a couple months so that being what it is i have to first brace this floor now i went in there a few days ago and let me get a light so maybe you can see better in the back there how these chambers work hang on just one second please all right i'm back i'm going to turn this light on and see if that's going to help all right so now you can have a better view of what's going on down there with this light but if you look back there, that's where the afterburner comes in at the top of the, of the roof of this machine. And it, it's going to blow down into that hole right there to your right. And then the gases are going to come. There's a, remember, there's a wall that's going to be rebuilt here along the middle between the separating the, the floor in halves longitudinally. So the gases will come this by direction here. And I'm standing behind the camera and then they're going to hit a wall in front and then turn in the other direction and end up going there and from there it goes out the stack and let me just show you how that looks from the outside going to do is I'm going to cut the floor even right here right where you see that kind of jagged break I'm going to use a diamond saw to cut that even and then I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to brace the uh, rest of the floor so I can safely crawl under there and begin the process of rebuilding the wall that holds the center of this floor up once I'm done with that, then I'm going to do some uh, some plywood forms that will actually be burned off because I can't go get in there to get them back out. And I'm going to pour um, refractory, castable refractory, to make another piece of this floor. In other words, to fix that, that back area. When I'm done, it should be good to go. It should be good for a while. Um, there won't be any issues at all with this. Now, um, I'm making these videos for educational purposes. We do not monetize anything through YouTube or anyone else, and frankly, uh, we're not interested in doing that. But, you know, we would appreciate a subscription and a like if you care to do so. That kind of allows other people that might not otherwise see this video to 
you know, have, have an opportunity to learn something. I, I'm tending this more for the small operators, uh, independent, you know, crematory and mortuary crematory owners that uh, frankly need to save a few dollars because things are getting very expensive these days. Uh, even the materials for this, I paid uh, the materials that I bought, which I'll show you here in a minute, I paid um, almost as much for just being able to repair that back section as I would have a couple of years ago to do a complete floor as far as the, these costs. So, you know, things are going up and you have to save where you can. And uh, if you're at all handy, this isn't very difficult to do. Um, and an operator that can also service the machines is uh, very valuable to any uh, independent uh, funeral home or crematory that uh, needs the help. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I'm using and then I will also um, get ready to crawl in here. So after I'm done giving you a materials list, uh, then I'll, I'll be gone for a few minutes while I'm setting up to cut the floor and do those things and then I'll be back to you. But you'll be able to follow most of what I'm doing uh, in this video. Hopefully it's not too long or if it is I'll try to split it up so that you know it'll get bored to death.